The Senate Committee on Health, Education, Labor, and Pensions will please come to order. As we start, I was amazed that C-SPAN's not here. I thought, could there be a better committee hearing than this one today? Uh, now we're here, uh, uh, and I say that because maybe it's only I as a, as a physician, but I, I, underst I understand the importance of this hearing. Um, in my career, I graduated from medical school in 1983. And there are diseases at the time that were common and debilitating and are fatal that now, because of American innovation, are like, nobody ever sees it anymore. And I could even go further back, because the pediatricians, when I was in med school, would speak about hospital wards being filled with children with measles and the complications thereof. And as soon as the vaccine came out, within six months, whole wards were closed down. That is the power of innovation. Another example I always give, when I was in med school, cutting out a portion of someone's stomach to treat peptic ulcer disease was common. And now Tagamet came out, a drug now sold over the counter, and within six months it was like never done before. Uh, my wife is a general surgery resident. She was pretty bitter about that. But anyway, despite that. Um, and we can go on. There's now treatment for obesity, Alzheimer's, malignant melanoma, other conditions before untreatable, cures for hepatitis C, Spinal implants made with 3D printing, tests to detect diseases faster, other interventions to improve patients' outcomes. Now, our country has led the world in these discoveries, accounting for 40% of world bi biotech-related patents for drugs. And backed by the FDA's gold standard review, we produce twice as many novel chemical or biological products as European countries. FDA has also approved over 30 gene, excuse me, cell and gene therapies, including the first gene therapy for sickle cell disease. In the hospital in which I taught and managed patients, sickle cell disease was so awful, with repeated hospitalizations for uh, uh, patients who just were in pain crisis after pain crisis until they became addicted to, uh, to, to, to drugs, and then their whole life spiraled down. Now there is a therapy for it. It is incredible. But we can't rest on our laurels. If we're going to maintain that edge, there's things we must do. Regulatory uncertainty and outdated frameworks stifle prog progress and push developers overseas to Europe, Australia, and most recently to communist China. I recently spoke to a group of biotech leaders. It was interesting. In varying degrees, they view China as a collaborator, as a competitor, and as a threat. When the developers are looking outside our country for early stage clinical work, we need to pick up our game. It's important for the American biomedical industry. It's important for patients. We need structural reform to give innovators stability and confidence that they can create in the United States without hardship. This includes eliminating unnecessary barriers in the FDA drug approval process while ensuring the gold standard of review is maintained. It means leveraging AI, machine learning, and new technology platforms such as mRNA to accelerate drug discovery and clinical development. We also have to recognize, although outside the scope of this committee, that post-FDA, coming to market depends upon CMS streamlining the coding, coverage, and reimbursement process so that new technologies don't die a slow a regulatory death post-FDA approval. That is not of this committee's jurisdiction, but it's critical and must be considered. Finally, we must ensure fair competition for American biomedical companies with nations that do not share our values and engage in anti-competitive practices like forced technology transfer and IP theft. These reforms will advance President Trump's goal of making America healthy again while strengthening our dominance in the 21st century global economy. It's pro-patient, pro-family, pro-America. I look forward to discussing these ideas more at today's hearing. With that, I recognize Senator Sanders.